Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're doing the last installment of the Flat Not So Flat Journal. Okay, this is a writing journal and it's uh, designed to be a writing journal so that you can open it up and easily write on any page because all of the, um, or most of the embellishments are removable. Okay, so the drawing is not removable, but technically you could write in every little cell here a favorite word or a birth date or, you know, okay. So, uh, we're at the point now where I have grabbed a pile of ephemera. These are old and interesting papers that I've gathered together. It was actually one of my original fundals. I still have some of those hanging around. And uh, let me back up a little bit so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. And strangely enough, I have managed to hide from my... Oh, no, there it is. Oh, I just spotted it. Yay. Oh, oh, life is grand again. Okay, so I had a bunch of pre-made... Um, paper clips, altered paper clips that I made with you guys along the way, yes, during the junk journal chat. And I'm going to use these two and mixed with regular paper clips and also unusual paper clips um, to attach the uh, pieces of ephemera to this junk journal. And so the whole idea is you can remove all this stuff and be left with a nice flat journal to write in, or you can just leave it as is, or do whatever you like with it. But I just thought I'd show you this alternative. So here is a diary page from 1959, and often they would say things like the weather report, like here it was a 49 and clear, um, and probably what they did, something, okay, yeah, yeah, Mrs. Mr. Sampson, eight hours weeding, uh, Freeport with uh, Nun Brown, and something Furman's Drill State, okay, I don't know what any of that means, but hey, it meant something to somebody, and there's also more here, clear, the weather was clear, 54. Um, so <laughs> put on screws. I'm just reading a little bit here. Um, something out, pull out plants. I think moved Amethyst alarm or something or dam, maybe not sure. Uh, but you do find little interesting tidbits of days gone by trimmed off something. Porkman one and a half hours. Portman, not Porkman. <laughs> But little different things that we can add along the way here. And here's a fun little thing. What is this? Some kind of ID card from another country. I love stuff like this. I just find it so fascinating with stamps in it. Things like that. Where's that shadow coming from? Where's that? What is that? That's, oh, I guess my bar here. I don't know. What is that? Oh, everything's so weird. I'm in an altered state. Where are we? Twilight zone. Okay. So something like that is kind of a neat find. Maybe I'll tuck that in here. And we'll start to overstuff as, as we like to do. This is a new thing. It's a new little envelope, but I can put something old in it and then I could attach it. Like, will this fit? This is a, an authentic um, Victorian calling card. Uh, Letta R. Jones. You will fit in there, Letta. And maybe we'll put in this first class permit from an old letter. I could just tuck fun little things in here. I mean, whatever you want. Here is an old ticket. There's an old ticket, I believe it's from Niagara Falls, Motel Corporation. So just some fun finds, just little doodads. And let's see, maybe we'll attach you here with one of these pretty little pre-made, mass-made paper clips. Now this is kind of pretty, maybe we'll use this one. Um, yeah, this was a fabric altered paper clip. That, those were fun. Maybe we'll make more of those in the future. That was really, I, I enjoyed that. So I'm, I'm going through here. I'm really not thinking. I'm not thinking. I'm, I'm doing this without thinking. Look at me go. Just going to put something on the pages for interest. These old ads are cool. Flowers, 25 cents, things like that. And you can fold these. That's okay. And then just let the person do whatever they want with them. Because, you know, we do give these to people and then they can do whatever they want with them. Uh, but it might be a fun little exploratory book. Okay, maybe I'll do this one lower. C trying to balance the weight in the book. Um, it's not mandatory. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Not that I've ever overthought anything ever in my entire life. Okay, maybe I have. Um, this is kind of a cool thing. Oh, and this is cool too. This, uh, I love these uh, milk caps. You can collect those. Those are neat. Um, and you don't always have to put, it could just be one thing at a tampon. You don't have to put everything down at once. All right, so maybe I'm going to use one of these unusual paper clips. Sometimes you come across these in stationery stores or thrift stores, uh, things like that. Here, what's that? This one looks like that. 
And I'm going to put you at the top. Okay. You know, it doesn't have to be on every page, but it could be. Um, uh, and there's nothing wrong if it is. I want you to feel bold and, and emboldened. And, and, okay, here's something from Gene Phillips. I had a whole big collection of his stuff. I think the date is the 50s. Does anybody see it? Oh, June 1954. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Agreement for the transfer of certain assets. Oh, that sounds important. Well, we'll put you in here. Maybe we'll tuck you in the beginning because you sound so important. We'll just put you right there. Do I want to fold you? Maybe, huh? Okay. I'll put your name up there. Give you a little fold and give you a little tuck. And there you go. You are in like Flynn, or at least in like Jean. Um, that was my dad's name, Jean. Yeah. Oh, that's a letter. Okay, I'll keep that. I, I remember getting these cards. These were uh, Norman Rockwell playing cards. Kind of cool things you come across every once in a while. And here's the, uh, here is the diary page, which I think will look... No, I think I, for some reason I want to put the diary page back here. Yeah, in this pocket. This is an actual pocket. Let's see if I didn't glue the whole thing down. Throughout the actual room. Sometimes you might need a bone folder to get in there and free the glue a little bit, just in case it's not all. And hopefully this will fit. All right. And we'll muscle fud it down there. Nope. Okay, maybe we'll fold it up a little bit. We don't have to put it as far. There. Okay. Is that, are we in? Are we in? We're almost in. All right, there we go. I think we're in now. Okay, we are good. All right, maybe you can go there. That would look cute. All right, back here. And I'm just gonna randomly, like I said, what do we have now? We have some, these are apothecary labels. These are cool. Cara Sagrada, good to get you going if you're having a little problem getting going. I'm not gluing it in, Pam, you have to remind yourself. I do, I have to remind myself, I'm not gluing it in. Okay, don't be gluing it in now, sister. Just back away slowly. Um, that's a cute one. Some of these are bigger than the item. Um, I don't know if I want to do a big, no, I'm just going to do a regular paper clip here because it's uh, thin and gentle and, um, oh, here's a cute little paper clip. It's very, these are cute little paper clips. Look at these. Oh, these are two together. You can't see them. Okay. One is a bicycle and one is an elephant, but they're very, very thin. They're made for books. Yes, of course they're made for books, so that you can put something in a book. Um, and I'm going to use that in lieu of the regular paper clip, which I can still use. All right, there we go. Cute, huh? Yeah. All right, so we just carry on. Um, let's see what we have. There's some nice music. Now, that might be a little bit much with the music, so maybe I'm going to pare it down a little bit because it'll be so bulky. But maybe we just need... A stanza or two, or not a stanza, is it, would it be a measure, a bar? I forget, but um, like a piece of this. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. Um, so yeah, not all projects have to be uh, made with pockets and tucks and belly bands and all that kind of thing. No, 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 no. Maybe I'll try fold it, give it an interesting fold. And I'll put you with something contrasting. Oh, you're contrasting. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, maybe I will put you up here because it's got little, the way the paper clip is, it's got like a little top feathery part. So we'll leave that there. And that's kind of why it's nice to have these things pre-made. Here's like a little bookmark or something. You're cute. We're going to use a regular paper clip for you. And, oh, this is neat. This is a how to make an Italian stinger drink. I've never even heard of that, but there's the recipe. Brandy, creme de menthe, and galliano. Um, that's kind of cute. Maybe we'll put this one from the side. So this will be a book of treasures, a book of interest, interesting whatnots. I remember when I came across these, it was a whole big fat stack of them, like a Rolodex full of um, somebody's bartender drinks. So cool. Oh, this is neat. Come here. I see you hiding in there. Oh, yeah, we got all sorts of fun things to put in here. Um, now, this is beautiful, but it's too big to fit in the book, so I could either have it stick up and out. Oh, I hate to cut it because it's just wonderful. 
we could fold it, but then that'll squash the original mushroom. Oh, yeah, maybe I'm going to have to fold it. I'm sorry, to keep all the writing and everything. I'm just going to have to, sorry, it's being folded. And I'm going to do it the classic, well-known wraparound. There we go. We have executed the wraparound. Everything is fine. I'll put you on there. There we go. And that's since that's there, we're crossing the middle zone. And we're going here. Now, some of these are unique and interesting. These are some Russian bus tickets. I remember collecting those. Oh. Oh, I'm going to put you way over here. Now you're on the interior side. Close to the spine. All right. Show that you can use your paper clips. It's like, okay, here we go. I'm sure I can do it. Mm, okay, there we go. Next, what do we have? Oh, what's this? Somebody typed out something important. Most of the objections that are made to compulsory... Compulsory peacetime military training under the present world conditions are not well taken. Fascinating reading. I don't know where that came from, but I find it quite fascinating. Um, why don't we do something with contrast? You have contrast. We shall use you. I don't mind if you stick out a little bit. I'm totally down with that. There we go. This is already in here, so we are complete there. Something here. Oh, what have they got over here? Yeah, just interesting things. A book page with... Oh, I like that. A book page with just words on it. Just words. Broken down words. Probably for a pronunciation, I would imagine. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, look at you. I turned you... Yeah, we already have one of those in there. Um, all right, let me pull some of these out so I can see what they are. Something. Oh, you are very pretty. That's a nice contrast one. That was a fun one. That was with a Victorian die cut, like a Victorian scrap. All right. What do we have next? What is next on the... This is a piece from a stock certificate. Somebody had cut them. Maybe they expired or they cashed them in. I'm not sure, but I, I like these. And therefore, one will go in here and we'll make it a hangover. When you fold something in half and you hang it over the top, it is now officially called a hangover. All right, here we go. Boy, this is going to be one fat journal, let me tell you. For a flat journal, it's going to be a fat journal. There you go. That's the way these things roll. Don't, I don't know why. It just is going to be that way. Um, all right, so what do we have now? Oh, we have this cute little ticket. Maybe I'll put you down here. No, skip that page because there's something that, oh, I like this. I'm going to, maybe I'll leave this blank because I like the space that it shows. But this, this deserves its own page from 1928. Simmons Hardware Company. We beg to acknowledge receipt uh, of your favor and closing $20, which amount has been passed to your credit with thanks. Thanks for paying your bill, for gosh sakes. I think that's what they're trying to say. Because um, we really appreciate it when you pay your bill, because when you don't, we can't feed our families. And we start, oh, look at that. I glued a coin on there. That's cool. It's a coin from another country. Look at me go. It's probably illegal to do, but oh well. Sometimes you just have to live dangerously. Don't tell on me. Um, um, what else we have? We have oh, so many things here. What are all these unusual things? That's a cool postcard. Let's put that in here. From Marseille. This is from Marseille. Yeah, the Fontaine Cantini. Oh, we like you. We definitely like you. Oh, you're cool. There we go. Oh, I'm just, this is, I don't know, this is the fun part to me. I just love, I love sticking things in books. This is Huama. One cup sour cream, mayonnaise, Beaumont, dill weed, and Debbie. Cut, Jerma, different shapes. Flowers? Okay. Yep. There you go. Mm hmm. Passed down from grandma. Apparently going to be lost here forever. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Oh, here's a Victorian. Trade card, buy the Conqueror Ringer. Try the Conqueror Ringer, Ringer before purchasing any other. I wonder what a Conqueror Ringer is. Maybe it's a washer ringer, like, you know, like a mangler or something. I don't know. I'm making this up. Does anybody know what it is? Okay, I'm going to put you on there. That's cute. Okay, oh, this one's already done. And we are crossing over into number two. So this does happen relatively quickly. This is a neat old piece. What is this? It's from 19... 24. It is a, uh, 
it's a receipt of some sort, I think, or a check or something. First National Bank, the de def defalcation. Don't perform defalcation. Without defalcation or stay of execution. It sounds very serious. It has a stamp on it. it looks like a receipt. It's 55 bucks. There you go. Hmm. For valued received, I hereby assign and transfer. The within. It's a note, some type of note. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. I just find some of the stuff so fascinating. Maybe I'm going to put the ticket here too because that's kind of cool. The ticket by itself might be a little, little small. No. No. I gotta find the right one now. Oh boy, I don't have enough of these decorated ones to go all the way through. I'm running short. Okay. See, I make them with you all the time, right? You think I'm drowning in these things? No. No, it's not like that. No. Okay. That's pretty. This is a new one, but it's pretty. So it's going in. Let me go from the side. Pop you in here. It hides everything, but that's okay. Here's some old money from Vietnam. Defunct money, I'm sure. Not worth the paper it's written on, but it's really cool for um, looking at and, you know, exploring the history. I think that's kind of fun. It's this little odd thing. You cute little paper clip you. Put you on right there. Right there. There you go. All right. Oh, there's our little decorated bird page. And we are here. What are you? Pure spices. They are ground expressly for us. Another Victorian uh, trade card. Okay, I'm going to have to do something more simplistic here. I think I'm going to use a pink paper clip there. There we go. Oh, here is a... Um, these are... I believe these are Thai... I could be wrong. Thai lottery tickets, I think. I'm going with it because I, I can't prove it otherwise. But for some reason, that's ringing a bell. Bong. Yep, something like that. What are you? Oh, your little baby paper clip. That's exactly what we need right now here. So, it'll be a very interesting lookbook. Here, this is an actual ticket. It's a train ticket in Germany. That's the way they came. It's an original. I think I put that in a digi kit too. But I really like them. Oh, this is kind of cool. What did I do here? Not, not this. We don't want that. Oh, no. Okay. Go away. No. I'm stuck on something. Okay. So I, I what did I do? Oh, I, I put a button on the paper clip. So let's see how that works. Probably going to be lumpy and bumpy, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, no, I, the, the bump. No, you can't go there. You have to go up to the other end. Yes. Now we're talking. The paper, the button can be moved to the top. So it dangles at the top. Oh, there we go. That's what was intended. Kind of cool, huh? Uh, okay, here we have one of those coveted pages from the funerary book. We have the permit, the embalming, the body for 10 bucks, chairs, $1.50, hearse, 12 bucks, uh, 10, 10 coaches. Wow, must have been a big family. 80 bucks. Ferriages. That was the fee for going on the was it the ferry or the carry? Carriage. I forget. We looked it up once. Somebody somebody, check it out. Um, opening of the grave. Extra depth. You know, when you, you, you pony up a little extra just to make sure it's deep enough. Because you don't want to be wrong about this. Because that would cause mayhem. We don't want any of that happening. Après. Funeral. You know, we don't want anything poking up that shouldn't be poking up. No. So I think it's worth the extra 10 bucks to make sure they're down there. Yeah. Okay. Just saying. Uh, glory. Something. Gloves for the bearers. Six pair. Buck 50. I think that was a good deal. That was an expensive funeral. I never know which one to honor because they're, they're on both sides. This person was 42. This person was 76. Let's see. Let's maybe use this one in half here. Okay. Yeah, this was such a big book when I had it too, and I've already threw the whole, I'm through the entire book. I don't like to fold this, but it's the only way I can do it to get it to fit in here. But this is a really special piece. I love that. I have more people ask me about that funerary book. I, I occasionally still find a piece of it here and there in my old rumblings of uh, papers for myself. So it's kind of fun to 
see them again. Keep your eyes open for the unusual. You never know what you're going to find when you're looking out there in the world. What's this? 1882, the Universal Fashion Company. Oh, toys, toilets, and, and toilet soap. Was that an attractive name? Toilet soap. You're not using it on your toilet. You are using it in the toilet, like in the toilette. You are in the bathroom. Où est la toilette? Where's the toilet? Like toilet water was considered um, like diluted perfume, basically. If you want a little toilet water? No, no, not really. No, no, yes, you do, because you will smell fabulous. It doesn't sound like I'm going to smell fabulous. It smells like I'm going to, it, sm it sounds like I'm going to smell like something else. No, you're going to love it. Trust me. I don't know where that accent is coming from now. It's like, <laughs> it was like a really morphed version of French going into Russian. I don't know. It's late. I'm hungry. What can you ask for? I childproof my house, but they still get in. I used to have a pile of these. I love those. And not everything has to be old. Sometimes it's just fun. Probably vintage for sure, but um, definitely in the fun world. So there you go. It's fun to use this stuff up. I really, I, I enjoy it. Lots of variety. What else do we have here? Oh, look at this. We have an old letter, an old envelope from 1917. The Quartermaster's Department. Captain L.O. Haskins, Quartermaster's Department, USR, Brownsville, Texas. I don't think there's anything. Nope, it's an empty, so that means we can put things in it. Will you fit in there? I have this red raspberry card. Put you in there. And I'll put this card. It's like a little prayer card. And whilst I'm here, I have another ticket. This is an old ticket from Ridge Avenue Passenger Railway Ticket. I think that's kind of pretty. Put that in there for a little surprise. And I'll just clip you on here. Maybe I'm going to clip you inwards in case your little thingies fall out. Then you're going to all be captured. I want to get the green tea one. Yep, this is a little green tea one. It's going to be funny. It's going to look weird upside down. No, nope, can't do that. Okay, we're going to have to put it here on this side. There we go. Let me put you up to the top so you can have these little little tassels hanging out. Oh, that's so cute. There we go. Very nice. They don't all have to be on this side. No. Remember we did this? I, I just think that's so pretty. It's so simple and not much to it, but it just has impact. Oh, we have this really cool old ticket. I know I've given some of these away as a special bonus gift. Um, with some of my bundles before. What, um, what kind of, New, Connecticut, New Haven, it looks like some kind of maybe train ticket. I, I'm going to guess train ticket. It would be nice if I knew what it was. I, I did at one time. But, you know, a lot goes on around here and I forget. <laughs> I do, I just forget sometimes what where stuff came from. All right, there we go. Now, what else do we have floating around over here? Oh, this is neat. We have, a, I love these flashcards. I love old vintage flashcards. They're just, they remind me of school back in the grammar days, elementary school, grammar school. I don't know. We used to call it grammar school, I think, in Canada. Here, I'll put the, the, the Manhattan drink on the, the vocabulary card. That sounds like it should be illegal, but I did. Oh, this is a photo. That's a nice photo. I love these old houses. They just had character. Look at the icicles at the top. Remember that? Yeah. Snow. Remember that, Pam? Yes, I do. Born in Canada, I remember the snow. I remember freezing my patootie off. Yeah, I didn't do well in the cold. Okay, what's this? This is one of those uh, Little Life's Instruction books. Be the first to fight for a just cause. When you have the choice of two exciting things, choose the one you haven't tried. Oh, such a good advice. Remember that no time spent with your children is ever wasted. Remember that no time is ever wasted that makes two people better friends. Oh, that's that's nice. That's good. I like that a lot. I just spent the evening with some friends, and it was wonderful. There we go. Okay. All right. A label. Liqueur d'or. Spiritu. Fabrique en Belgique. Okay, so they speak French in Belgium, in case you didn't know. Um, a little tidbit there for you. For those who didn't know the tidbit. Okay, here he is. A little register from some type of bank book, 1920. Yep. Kind of cool, huh? 
All right. I know I'm going to get the question. Where do you get all your old stuff? Okay, here we go. Um, self, friends, family, or self, family, friends, um, yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, um, consignment shops, thrift shops, um, antique malls, thr uh, flea markets, auctions, eBay, Etsy, uh, Facebook marketplace. Here's some receipt from the Chrono Post. This I'll do as a wraparound. Um, but yeah, those are the main places. And then, then people will start to know what you're looking for and they'll actually start calling you if you buy stuff from them. So that's a nice way to find stuff. But always be on the lookout, ask questions. When you go to garage sales, you know, if it isn't out there, say, hey, do you have any old papers or anything like that? Uh, people will be, they'll be like, oh yeah, I got a whole box. I didn't think anybody wanted it. We're in the last signature now. This is a prepaid stock certificate. Um, these are kind of cool to collect. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. There. Um, maybe I'm going to do a, a wraparound, but from the bottom up. Look at me go. I am just creating a new thing. Well, it's not that new. I've probably done it before. But uh, it kind of felt cool. Uh, this is a, I don't know, one of those things. Remember those? It's a little stronger to hold this big guy in there. There we go. And there's already something there. So we'll just move along to here. What is this? Some letter, Mr. Phillips. This is part of Mr. Phillips' collection, so I think I'm going to sort of fold him up. And I'm gonna make him a wraparound as well. And we'll, well, you know, are you wondering how bulky it will be? Well, we'll just find out in the end now, won't we? Yes, we're gonna find out together as a group. Here, we're gonna put this little guy on here, his little paper clip. And what else do we have here? What's this pile of stuff? Let's put that out. Oh, look at you. Oh, this is, that's neat. What is that? I don't know what that is. Um, flip the page. Oh, remember we did that? We made our own wallpaper with rubber stamps and just coloring with colored pencils. That was nice. I guess you could actually do that to a wall. These are pretty. Maybe I'd like to clip those on together. These little tags. That would be nice. I would like that. All right, let's do that. Um, let's anchor you with this. There we go. What else do I have over here? Oh, I got a bunch of stuff. This is some type of, um, property something or other. I don't exactly know what it is, but it's cool. It's definitely old. That's the way these things go. That's all I'm saying. We sometimes don't know their origin or even what they were or are. There's one of those button things. That's a nice way to use up your shank buttons. You can put them on paper clips and then... This is cool. This is some old... Oh, this makes a lot of sense, right? Look at this. You're going to laugh. Atoms for peace. That's right. Probably trying to promote the use of the old atom technology back then. Um, let's see if we we'll find unusual. I'm going to use one of these again. These unusual guys. I'll put you at the bottom. Okay go digging in my pile here of whatnot and stuff. Okay, what do I have? I have a, what is this? This is a, it's like a, is that a, what is that? Let me, hang on, I gotta look. It's a scene, it's a scene. Can you see it? It's a scene. Yeah, there we go. Kind of cool, slide. Oh, we have a little pocket. This is like a library pocket sort of. Not, it's not really a library pocket, it's a little envelope. We're gonna put, tuck some cool things in here. I'm going to put this in there, this altered alteration thing. What else can we put in there? Will you fit? You might fit. I'll say, will you fit? Yeah. Put you behind. This is a, one of those. Remember that? You'll know. If you were from my day, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Maybe this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's get you in there. Put you there. I'm going to tuck you in there, too. We'll just, like, have a whole collage of stuff in there and maybe we'll use a fat chubber should we use a fat chubber eh, maybe we'll use one of these these little side paper clips can i do this we'll see it's not a paper clip it's a clothes peg clothes pin clothes peg i can't think of the word now i don't know what it is what what thou what are thoust clothes pin clothes pin i think so um it's probably got no nope, nothing on it okay Oh, here's a couple of those. What do we got down here? What's in there? Oh, we got a library catalog card. Those are always good. 
This was the Prairie Baroness. There you go. Beautiful, rebellious Luti finds herself alone, pregnant, and ill on the prairie in Dakota until she is rescued by Emily and taken to the home of the rich and hated foreigner Frenchman Baron de Fleury. There you go. That just, that just wets your whistle, doesn't it? Now you, you want to know what happened to her. I do. Yeah. Boy. She came in with a bang. <laughs> this is an old one. Oh, where, here it is. This is an old vintage paper clip. That's what some of them used to look like. And I, I've gotten them from old business papers. Piles of old business papers. Uh, they were strong back then. I can barely move this thing. Okay. Not like our flimsy little paper clips of today. I'm almost there. I almost got it. Probably should have went the other way. Oh, well, too late. I'm in now. There we are. We're in. Boy. That was not easy. Okay, what do we have? Oh, this is interesting. What do you? The Harvester King Company. For some reason, I want to say this. It had something to do with... This is to the John and Deere Plow Company. No, no, it's John Deere. John Deere. It was just a funny little space there. Um, some old papers. Something tells me this was a nut company, but I could be wrong. Something about almonds. Rings a bell. I don't know. I could, like I said, could be wrong. Just rolling with it. Roll around right here. Trying to find a different paper clip. What do you got? Oh, there's one that's a little different. This one is gold. We'll use you. There we go. All right, we're on. And oh, we're coming in the home stretch. We're totally coming in the home stretch. What else we got? We got, I got some little stuff. This is kind of cool. Just a big uh, index card. Put you in here. Maybe we'll use this to give a nice contrast there. That's very nice. Um, oh, we have, who is this? Mr. Gene Phillips, you ride again. That's right. Your day is long and strong. He was quite a character. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting one. Let's see, sometimes these get hooked together. But, ba -da -da -da. okay, oh, almost there. So I made a, a collection of buttons on and beads on a safety pin. And then I hooked that to a paper clip. And I was feeling all wild and frisky on that day. I'm gonna put this foot about halfway then. So that can dangle. This can dangle off the side. dangle -a There you go. Dangle, dangle. What else do we have? Mm -hmm. Aha, what are you? You are, these are um, vocabulary cards for German. How did you hit on that? What kind of a question is that? How did you hit on that? I guess, I guess it can make sense. And the person, of course, said, Wissen Sie darauf gekommen, wie kommst du darauf? Okay. I'm, I'm sure I was exactly correct in that, my pronunciation. No, 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 you tone down the applause. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, Lord. How bad could it be? Right? Oh, this is a nice little... Uh, address card a little vintage address card very nice i love those they're so quaint they remind me of the 70s uh, when you we used to get stationary sets writing sets things like that this is a cool one i want to put this in here this is anna b coon a b c i wonder if somebody thought about that when they were creating that um okay i'll put you there and we'll use the little uh, bicycle, which is, for some reason, to, oh, you're going to have to go like this. Okay. Oops. All right. There we go. Isn't that cute? Cutest little, cutest little paper clips with the little things. You can find these on eBay or something, I'm sure. Um, a couple of these B&W tickets. They're cool. We'll put one of these, one of these and this playing card together and we'll make a cluster and we'll maybe put this it looks like a library card or some part maybe behind it we'll do a cluster you can also do clusters of ephemera 
and this is how it's done. <laughs> Just more fun stuff for somebody to peruse and find. Okay, coming down the home stretch here. What is that? Oh, don't be falling off now. Oh yeah, gotta have this. This is a, a seed packet, empty seed packets. I love these pictures of the flowers on here. They're so pretty, so pretty. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So when there's such a pretty picture, I'll just use a plain paper clip because I don't want to take away from the prettiness of what's on there. And so how fat, how fat do you think it's going to be? Come on, out with it. Here's an envelope. We could stuff little things. Here's a little, um, this is a World's Fair ticket. I wonder if I could still get in the World's Fair with that. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Here is a uh, movie trivia card. I'm going to pick this stuff up with these fingernails. Movie trivia card. Tuck that in there. Um, looking for what? Oh, there's a tiny little. Yeah, it's a little Victorian die cut. I'm just going to tuck that in there. They probably won't even know it's in there. Here's a piece from an old magazine. We'll tuck that in there. So these are going to be like little surprise grab things. Um, I think I put that in there already. Let me just get more stuff over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh please, ma'am. Just pull over this. I've got tons of stuff here. Okay. Um, oh, this is neat. It's from 1862. It's an old receipt, handwritten. Um, County of Crookstock. For money paid. Yeah, this is an old receipt, handwritten. I love that. That's beautiful. I'm, I'm going to give that its own homage. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do? Um, since this is white on white, the envelope on here, I'm going to put something behind it to give it some some contrast. And then I'm going to put it down. There, look at I'm so bold. I am just so bold. Where? What was I playing with that was so cool? The receipt, right? Yeah, here it is. And this is a cool page. This is a uh, foreign language. I think that's Russian or Ukrainian. Probably one of the two. Maybe Greek. I could be wrong. Does anybody see a phi? I always look for a phi. No, so then I default to Russian or, or Ukrainian. Um, I think Russian. I don't know. I have no idea. Put that here. Put that here. And put that. I've only got about two pages left. All right. Here we go. Such cool items. Very neat. All right. Put you on there. And one more page. One, two more pages. Um, this is interesting. What are you? Oh, that looks cool. Oh, this is neat. This is an old uh, Miller. Remember these? It's one of those drink coasters. I remember that from when my parents were growing up. Or my parents were growing up. I remember I was growing up hanging out with my parents. And they'd have stuff like that. You know, they'd come home from a pub or something and they'd bring one home or I don't know what, why they would do that. That would just be silly. Here's a little um, baby card, especially for baby deer with best wishes to all. Mrs. Borgle. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? And I'm going to put that here. And I think we are wrapping this up now. And this last little thing is a little receipt of some sort. Orpha Clinker Arts and Crafts. Course I, four hours a week, four credits, second to third period. April 1st, 1918. I think that's going to be going in the back here because that's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool piece. What's this? I don't know what that is. Um, it's kind of pretty. We'll take it. Oh, I just lost the... Oh, come back here so I can see you. Eh, okay. I'm going to tuck you in. There. There. Okay. So here's how fat it turned out to be. There it is. You want a measurement? I'll tell you. It's okay, like relaxed. Like if I if I just let it be on its own, the gator mouth would be eight inches to here. If I squash it, like tight, yeah, a little less than two inches. Depends how hard you squash it. Um, but there you go. Loaded, can be completely deflated just by removing everything. So maybe we will give her a little sash and call her complete because she just did a dandy. Oh, this is pretty and this is perfect. I love this. I found some tatting. 
Isn't that pretty? Somebody meticulously did that for days. You just know they were there for days doing that. Or I would have been there for days. Oh, look it. It actually matches the tatting I have on the front. I must have, <laughs> that's why it was on the top of the pile. I had a little left over, so maybe we'll just do a little tatting closure as we do. And we'll not put too much tension on it because it's, it's tatting after all. We don't want to be gentle with it. It's not meant to be like a, a rope. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that. Oh, so there you go, folks. The flat writing journal is no longer flat. She's been stuffed in pure paper outpost style, but she can be deflated if so one chooses. Take care. Um, oh, you want a word from Sunbun? Where are you? Where are you? He's nowhere to be found. Um, let me find him. He can't be far. All right, Sunbun. Let me find you. There you are. He's hiding on the couch and amongst the, the white pillows. Are you ready for your, uh, your pup date? No, I'm not. Well, yes, I'm ready. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear you're prepared and ready. I'm very ready. I, am, I'm, I can't be any more ready, Mom. Put me on. Put me on. Okay. All right. Hi, everybody. This is Sunshine. Okay, so Baxter, my friend, stayed overnight, and we babysat him. And I was in charge, and I kept a really close eye on him. And he went and hid in the shower, and then he was in Mom's closet, and then he was in the craft room, and then he was in the kitchen. But I knew where, where he was every minute. I didn't let him out of my sight. I was a very good puppy sitter. And um, there, was no, there was a taste of turkey. There was turkey, no chicken. But turkey is not a bad substitute. So everything was good. And we had to give Baxter back, didn't we? Yeah, we gave Baxter back. We didn't want to because we really liked Baxter, but he said he'd come again. Okay, so you're going to get another visit from your friend? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're such a cute little guy. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, tell everybody thank you. Thank you, everybody, and happy crafting. Okay. <laughs> All right, off in your little Betty bye. All right, so there you go, folks. If you did not know, I have a free monthly email newsletter that you can get um, every month automatically. Once you sign up, the links are down below in the description box to all my stuff if you want to look down there. And um, uh, you get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a list of page ideas to help break a blank page. Uh, you get updates from me, junk journal tips, peeks at new digi kits coming out, and a whole lot of other fun things. Um, I have uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you can watch video podcasts on Spotify any day of the week. Uh, I have an Etsy shop where you can find journals and bundles and kits and fundles and uh, digi kits and uh, the print and mail option of the digi kit, all in my Etsy shop. Um, I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here, I try and find links for them so you can easily find them in there. And that does help my shop if you use my links, but you do not pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much. And um, I have a t-shirt shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. You can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And those are fun for gift giving for your friends, yourself, your family, or other crafters. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And remember, most of all, that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.